Hit me, hit me, hit me with your best shot. Oh, dude, we did damage. Like, I think if, yes, baby. Dude, our shield block is ultimate. He's not resistant to our shield. And I think we just froze him with our shield too. Dude, shield OP. Shield OP. But welcome back to another episode of Elder Scrolls Blades. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And today, I actually want to kick off this episode showing something that I saw a lot of people pointing out after the last episode. That's actually something that, I don't know, as a fan of Elder Scrolls, I could appreciate. The fact that this fella over here, his name, Theodore Gorlash, is actually, like, if you rearrange the letters, it goes out to spell Lord Sheogorath. I always mispronounce his freaking Daedric Prince, but it's the Daedric Prince, the dude who has, like, the Shivering Isles DLC absolute shenanigans going on his quest lines are always super fun like in skyrim all those shenanigans that were going on so this is literally him i knew something was off because like i saw those yellow eyes i'm like bro those eyes look so familiar like he was reminding me like with his uh, with this like eccentricness and like craziness and whatnot about that so i just wanted to point that out and be like yo we got a daedric prince inside of our freaking castle like I'm just saying life's pretty good right now, but he also let us know about a little something known as the abyss And that is where we are going to go and venture off into today But so first things first we do have a couple of chests over here to open that we had uh, Opening up from before and I think we should have some free chests over in the store as well And we're getting some decent stuff nothing too crazy But we should be able to sell it and maybe make a little bit of profit Let's start opening up our next chest since we can only open one at a time by the looks of it And let's head over to the store where we we should be able to claim some of our freebies whenever it decides to load any minute now and here we can see we have a golden chest awaiting us of the daily variety why hello mr golden chest that's slightly better than a silver chest give me some of the goods and these aren't really better than what we have going on from our massive opening we did just last episode. If you guys have not already, make sure to check that out. Should be like a pop-up on screen or something. And do give it a little skidoodle in case you have not already. But where we are going to go now with is some of that much improved loot. As you guys could see, oh baby, we're looking kidded. We are going to be heading over to the Abyss and checking the... Hello, Abyss? I just clicked on you, mate. But there we go now it's loading i don't know why that was so difficult welcome one welcome all to the abyss which is i believe like an endless dungeon of some sort that apparently requires 50 loading screens hello game can i oh there we go uh apparently we have mushrooms for some reason not entirely sure what those are all about you guys see those mushrooms what what they're just Okay, well, apparently we got some magic mushrooms chilling in our upper right-hand corner. I don't know why. But I believe this is some sort of, like, an endless dungeon that we could venture into. Hello, Mr. Skellington. How- Ow! Should have blocked in time. How are you doing, my friend? Unfortunately, you go go down. And I'm gonna get a communication error. Okay. And all right, so we're back at the abyss this time. No magic mushrooms. We have times four logs. If we get kicked out after killing this first- Oh! And as you guys can see, it is actually different this time around so that's kind of like the central thing about the abyss it is kind of like an endless randomly generated dungeon that we try to get as far into as possible so the good news is is that we got a lot of loot from our uh, unboxing like i was mentioning in just the last episode so we should be pretty prepared for hopefully a pretty deep run if all goes well oh let's get oh i did not get that block off in time he's oh no dude come on i'm pressing the shield button man why can i not block am i like stunned or something and once we defeat seven enemies there should be some sort of a quest being completed. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for just kind of glowing items or something we might be able to loot up. Hello, Skellington. Ow! Why am I always getting hit? Get out of here, dude. Combo! Ho, ho, ho. It's the Wombo combo, baby. Get out of here. All right, we got another Skellington, and we should be well on our way. Okay, come on. Shield! Shield! There we go. My guy actually put up there. Oh, gee! As soon as I freaking tap, this other guy decides to start attacking me. Okay, there we go. Well, we took him out. We got some powerful weapons and whatnot, so things are coming up pretty millhouse. I can't complain. Although, where is the loot, dude? I'm kind of surprised. Oh, this dungeon's getting fancy. There's like a little cavern or something going on, but I'm not finding like anything that we can really pick up besides what the enemies are dropping. So, oh, welcome to floor two, where apparently there's skeevers. What up, skeever? Get out of here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> one hit a quitter. Oh, you want to come at me too? Whoop! No, 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 no today. And we're about, I think that little meter in the upper right hand corner, if you guys see that, it's filling up with like the logs and stuff. So I don't know what that whole shindig's about. There we go. Dude, if we could just kind of time all these strikes. 
Oh, beautiful. We're starting to get the timing down for getting these guys down in one fell swoop. Ow. He hit me a little bit, but that's all good. We're still looking pretty good in the grand scheme of things. But it appears that the Abyss does not really have items on the ground or anything. Kind of like the single player dungeons we're used to. Rather, it appears that the Abyss uh, just has, if you're going to get an item, it's going to be from whatever that bar filling up in the upper right hand corner is. Or, yeah, we can't pick up those crystals. Or uh, it's off of something that like the enemies drop. Every time we go through this cavern, it appears that kind of signifies a change of floors. So we go to the next floor from there. I'm just wondering how deep we can make it, baby. When do the enemies start getting too tough for us to handle? Oh, oh, block, block it, block it. Oh, a fire boy. <laughs> Dude, that does so much damage. I love it. And we almost have whatever that thing in the upper right hand corner is filled up. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Boop. Let's just go and take this bandit out. Come on, swing, swing, swing. There we go. I'm not trying to stick around for too long here. What do we have over here? Another little bandit. These bandits ain't got jack squad on me. I'll take some health damage. I'm not worried. These dudes barely chip away at us. We are all powerful. Thanks to, uh, well, ooh. Okay, so the logs have disappeared from our upper right-hand corner. And they are now whatever those other things are. So, I don't know. I'll take it. I don't know what that old shindig's about. Hey, welcome to floor four. We got some wolves. <laughs> they gonna die right away. Come at me, wolves, bro. So the floors are pretty quick and pretty easy to run through. Especially since we're not really looking for loot or anything. Unless loot decides to start appearing. It does appear you should just be able to kill these enemies and continue going through. So that should save you a little bit of time. If you are, like, for example, trying to keep your eyes peeled for loot. From what I've seen so far, I, I, don't, I don't really think you need to. So you just gotta try and get as deep as you can. We're about to enter floor five, I believe it is. Yep. Welcome to floor five. And with each floor, we get EXP and we get gold. And okay, this is looking like an interesting one. Because there is actually a split in the paths we could go. So why don't we check out what this uh, absolute dead end is about. All right. Oh, Jesus, Skeever. Get out of here, Skeever. Yeah, this is literally just like a random little dead end. We got nothing out of that. <laughs> uh, just got some crystals and stuff. But at least like the layout of this floor looks like it's a bit different. A little bit more natural looking. And it appears that the enemies tend to be relatively linear in each floor. Because, like, when we encounter a skeever, that floor is pretty much filled with skeevers. When we encounter bandits, bandits are all that that floor has. But, like, dude, we're questing pretty nice and easy right now. Looks like the reward's right about double or so every time we get through. What up, Spriggan? I got some fire. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Come on, fire spell. Fire spell for you. Get your booty on fire, Spriggan. Oh, you down. You down. Easy claps. Oh, Jesus, another one. Not easy. The claps are not as easy. Boop. Did I just get set? Did I just set myself on fire? Oh, probably, dude. I'm a dingus. Whatever. I'll just slice and dice her to death. They ain't dropping nothing. Oh, we're about to get a chest, though. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So I feel like that's kind of like the main loot system. When you're doing the abyss... Did I get turned around? I think I did, because we should be going down. When you're doing the abyss, it's mainly going to be getting rewards from anything that an actual enemy might drop or anything that you might get through that little bar filling up in the upper right hand corner what up spriggan i got a little bit of fire for you i just clicked on the fire thing set this girl on fire boy or i don't really know set this tree on fire i should say or yeah it's a tree i'll go with that <laughs> how much deeper do we gotta go so that should be another floor this one's looking kind of misty and spooky though down to floor seven. Oh my god. These rewards just keep on getting sweeter. Jesus, we got spiders. We got giant frost spiders. Oh, do you like fire? I like fire. Oh my god. Okay, they actually start getting a little bit powerful. Let's drink that potion. I'm not trying to die here. Let's ow. Get that shield in. Okay. Everything just got significantly harder on this floor. Goes without saying. Oh my goodness gracious. We're getting lots of free things though, but uh yeah, can I get another whatchamacall? Potion of healing up in here? Yeah, let's, let's drink that up. <laughs> Not trying to die. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. So let's just be ready to block against these things. Boop, there we go. You ain't getting jack squat on me. Oh, I got the block. I got the fire spells. Boop. Let's set your booty on fire. There we go. That one went a little bit smoother. I kind of knew what I was getting into. But yeah, every time we tap on the bar, it does bring us over here to our potions. And we can just kind of drink up in between battles. We got a ton saved up, but... 
Uh, it looks like this is the floor. Oh, it's a little baby. Oh, it is little baby spider. Bye bye, little baby spider. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of baby spiders. Okay, hello, big boys. I'll take you out one by one. There we go. One. Oh, come on. What? Are multiple going to be attacking me at once? Okay, let's try to time this a little bit. There we go. And you. How did I miss that one? That was right on the spot. There we go. We'll take him out like that. We got this spider coming up. We got that spider going down. Nothing over there. So I believe we got to go this way. And we've completed that floor. So the question is, will it only get tougher from here? Or will we maybe like get a little bit of a break? Maybe like some slightly easier enemies. I don't know. But oh, those rewards though. Dude, we're going to be walking out of you changed men. Lots of levels. Okay, it's freaking goblins, man. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, this is a pretty powerful goblin. I'm not going to lie. A fire spell, baby. There we go. And I'll block because I saw that coming. And wombo combo time. Baby. Oh, we got to get two more three hit combos for a little bit of a bonus. I will. Oh, no. I was about to block. Oh, god dang it. I missed time that. Oh, I did not get that one off in time. Oh, we got to heal. No, I did not die. Okay. My next reward is a golden chest. Continue your descent into the abyss for more rewards. Luckily, we have 59 scrolls of freaking revival. So, I mean, I will use one of those because we have a poop ton of them and that revives us. That's kind of how those scrolls come into play. Let's set this goblin on fire. Let's actually try to block it a little bit. Get some wombo combos up. In I blocked that one. Come on now. Get some wombo combos up in here. Get some heals, but the rewards and stuff are starting to be like a lot more plentiful and stuff. But still, a nice little taste of the abyss and what to expect here. By the way, in case you guys are not already, make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell to stay up to date with our Elder Scrolls Blades adventure as we continue getting deeper. I think what we will try to do a little bit too, and let's... Oh, I saw that block coming. I got the fireball. That fireball never gets old. Easy. Peace. Oh, I was about to try to get a combo off. That guy swings a lot, just like me. Okay, and I will block that. Let's get one a hit. Oh, block. Come on. Oh, now you're going to take 50. Oh, as soon as I start to swing, that's when he stops. At least we got a little combo going. There we go. Boop. Oh, dude, I love this. My shield just set this man on fire. I think that it did. I love this shield. Oh, my God. These wizards? Harry, you're a wizard, Harry. What's up? Oh, yeah, they're shaman, dude. These guys are not going to be happy with me. Oh, fireball time. Oh, what? I'm dying. I'm dying. Why am I dying? I, they have cast the spell of death on me. I'm not happy about this. Jesus. These are powerful spells. These are very powerful spells. What is going on? Heal. Heal. Do all the healing. Oh, my God. I was not expecting this. Dude, they're just like, they're barely taking damage. They know when to block. Okay, this is where the combat starts to get a little bit more intense. Oh, block. There we go. Beautiful. Wombo. Combo. Oh, let's try to get that heal off. I mean, not heal off. Block off. That's where I'm at. Fireball. And that should be one shaman down. We got another one, though. These guys are not fun to deal with. There we go. Oh, no, not the fire spell. Oh, I don't like being on fire. That's not fun. That's not fun. No bueno. No bueno. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. All right, Shaman. Oh, god dang it. Hold and release. I know to hold and release to attack. Why are you telling me this in the eighth floor of the dungeon? I've learned that lesson by now, fam. Come on now. I'm just going to watch out for the spells. I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, my god. This guy's an expert at blocking, too, or something. Oh, there we go. We got a nice couple hits. A nice block. Oh, the wombo combo. The wombo combo coming up. Clutch. Give me that gold. And we're getting lots of rewards. I wonder if there's like a tally at the end that kind of just shows all the rewards we got throughout this. But okay, we've gotten to the point where these floors kind of get hard. At what point are we going to start fighting like freaking bosses and stuff though? I think that's the question, but yeah, make sure that you guys are subscribed. Look, I was saying with that notification bell to stay up to date with the Elder Scrolls Blade series as we do continue our shenanigans. And of course, let me know that you guys are enjoying it by hitting that like button and saying so. Oh, come on. I blocked that in that comment section down below. That's the best way of letting me know. We got to heal. We got to heal. We got to heal. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Skeleton hero. This guy is a legend. Dude, what? This man just doesn't take damage, period. He's resisting everything. Why? Why does this man get to resist everything? Shield bash. Boop. There we go. Oh, big hit. Dude, he just... Yeah, this just a very powerful fella. He, he just resists everything. I don't like this one bit. Can I not set him on fire? There we go. Did I just set myself on fire? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. None of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. Boop. There we go. I actually got that one off. Shield bash. Boop. He just hit me while I was shield bashing. Dude, this is a little bit of a boss battle, I think. I hope there's not more of these guys. They're starting to get tougher. I know it's probably not boss battle, it's probably just a totally normal skeleton, but still. There we go. 
Oh, come on. Oh, blocked! Boop. There we go, a little wombo combo. Boop. Let's go! Goodbye, skeleton hero. There better not be more of that, man. I think that might have actually been a little bit of a boss battle. That might explain why it was resistant to everything. Oh, no, 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 no. God dang it. All right. Let's get prepared here with a little... Oh, shield block right away. Oh, he's probably gonna... Oh, shield bash. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's try to block that a little bit. Nice. Oh, he's gonna try to... Oh, nice, dude. We got this little combo going kind of well. This combo is on a roll. We stopping him dead in his tracks, baby. Oh, shield bash. Shield bash. Oh, what? I just clicked on shield bash. Nothing happened. Oh, heal, 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 heal. Let's get a fire spell. I don't think he takes fire damage, though. I know to hold in release game. Stop telling me this. I know I might look like a nub sometimes, but cut me some slack, fam. You know what I might try and do really quickly here? Why don't we try and switch up some of our weapons? Can I go to my equipment? Because uh, uh, we might want to switch to a different one. Is corrosion good against skeletons? I, I don't know. It does less damage, way less DPS, so maybe not. Uh, maybe like a different shield, fine steel shield of ice. Maybe give that a go. It's less protective, but probably gonna have some cool abilities. So yeah, we'll send it. Hit it with the switch up a little bit. Oh, nice, we got the shield bash. We got the fire spell. And this guy should be coming along pretty nicely. But yeah, like I'm saying, make sure that you guys are showing that support. Great way of letting me know that you guys do want to see more of the series and oh yeah man when we when we, we did so much damage with that like properly timed block dude i think this shield's really good for blocking but just let me know behind that like button and saying so down below in that comment section best way let me know that you guys are enjoying it and that you would like to see more and i'm always a man of the people so if the people want more the people will be getting more is this the right way i think it turned around right uh, i feel like i may have been turned around Maybe. I got turned around. God dang it, man. <laughs> I knew things were looking familiar. It's a little bit more backwards than they- Oh my god, another one! Okay, what up, Mr. Skellington? How you doing? <laughs> nope, let's not do that. Come on. Hit me, hit me, hit me with your best shot! Oh! Dude, we did damage. Like, I think if- Yes, baby! Dude, our shield block is ultimate! He's not resistant to our shield! And I think we just froze him with our shield, too. Dude, shield OP! Shield OP! The best offense is a good defense, and you guys are seeing that unfold in front of your eyes. This shield is amazing, bro. We're making a nice run into the abyss, and we're collecting, like, some... Did we get some of these chests? Yeah, baby. Oh, we got some good chests. You can only open one at a time? Aw. Well, that explains things. So we can only hold ten maximum, but we can hold more. What kind of chest are we about to get? Doesn't say. It looks like we're getting a fancy chest in that upper right-hand corner, though. And down to the next floor we go, where luckily our shield is ready to help. Floor 10! Where the gold is plentiful and so is the EXP. We better have a lot of levels after this. What is that? Oh, mama. Hello. Giant skeevers? Jesus, these things are massive. Fireball. Boop. Oh, we gotta heal up. These things are powerful. I'll just block this one. Boop. <laughs> Watch you just hit my shield and bounce off is pretty satisfying. Dude, shield OP though. Fireball. Dude, that's the nice thing about magic spells too, I think, is that... Uh, whatchamacall? God dang it. Dude, I, I'm just gonna try to like fireball and block. I think that's the move. But the nice thing is that spells, I don't think we need to really time them. Like even... Dude, this shield is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> we don't need to time them, because like with those, like with these types of enemies that kind of like attack and stay back. You do need to time them with a physical hit. But if you're just trying to like melee them. Oh, do I have two attacking me? Okay, this is gonna be just a lot of blocking right now. Did I just die? Oh, I just died. That's not good. How'd I die? My, my health was probably lower and I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, let's get another revive in here. I'm trying to see how deep the rabbit hole goes, baby. Oh, yeah, let's just, let's just keep that shield up. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked by two of these guys right now. I do not a fan of this. Do not support. Let's get a fireball in there. Oh, we gotta heal, we gotta heal, we gotta heal, baby. I am out of heals, baby. Okay, that explains things. We're probably about to die. We're about to die. We'll go one more time. We'll just try to at least finish up this floor, man. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, I just gotta not get myself in a 2v1 situations. <laughs> Dude, this shield is saving my bum big. And yeah, if we time our attacks right, I think we could like... 
Oh, we can, like, uh, send them backwards, too, if we time our... Oh, okay, did not time that one right. Oh, what? I did not time that shield right. There we go. Cast that spell, cast that spell. Oh, nice. Time that one a little bit nicer. Oh, my God. Can I attack one of you at a time? And not three of you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just one, just one, just one. There we go. Okay. Okay, a little bit more reasonable there. Boop. And fire spell into the shield. And he should just die of that fire in combo with our shield. So that looks like a pretty good strategy to take him down. Just block and use spells on some of those enemies that try to attack you up close and personal. Come on, Skeever. There you go. Yeah, man, that's actually a dope strategy. Because we do just enough damage, pretty much. We're like, by the time they attack us that second time, our shield will just kill them. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I would also love some more potions, by the way. I could get behind some of those. All right, what up, Skeever? Are we almost done here with the... Oh, okay, I messed up my own strategy. Don't do this. Don't do this, baby. Okay, yeah, we're about to die again. Ah! I got myself into the 2v1, man. That's what I said we should not have been doing. Did I just set myself on fire? Did I miss my spell? Okay, come on. Oh, I don't have the freaking stamina. Mana needed. Okay, cast the spell. There we go. There we go. We got them both down. I don't know how. Uh, we need those heals. If you could please heal up, man, I'd appreciate that. But I think we're skeever free. I think we're moving on to the next floor. Do we get heals in between floors, maybe? Is that a thing? I wouldn't complain. Come on, give me some heals. Floor 11, 2,000 gold, 400 EXP. Oh, mama. Is that a day? Is that a Daedra? Yo. Don't tell me this is a Daedra. I don't know how we're going to be dealing with that. This might be a Daedra, isn't it? Yeah, that's... Oh, it's a Dramora, I should say. I'll revive one more time, YOLO. How powerful is this lad? Well, he does not see... He does not seem to care about, like, anything that I'm doing. Yeah, okay. I think that might be a good point to, uh, leave the abyss. <laughs> we ain't getting out of there. But there are some of our rewards. A gold chest, silver chest, wooden chest, lavender, petty soul gem. A couple of things like that. And I believe there will be a level up awaiting us once we are out of here as well. So let's head on over to the town. Apply that level up and maybe, uh, start... Oh, yeah, we do have one level up to be exact. Level five. We'll up that magicka because I really like our freaking, uh... Watch, ooh, we got brass ingots too. But I really like that freaking uh, fireball spell. That just comes in handy. Ooh, and there's other spells too. Lightning bolts? Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Well, do we want to get like a perk or something maybe? Elemental protection, armsman, what's that do? Plus four damage? Yeah, YOLO. I'm, I'm down for some damage. I'm not, I'm not a man to turn something like that down. But I think that's a good point for us to actually. Do we have another level up? Oh, no, that's the same one. I think that's a good point for us to go ahead and end off this episode of Elder Scrolls Blades. Hope you guys did enjoy our dive into the abyss. Next time when we return, I think we'll go back to trying to knock out some quests and rebuild this town a little bit because it's a little bit of a poop hole. Not going to lie about that. Oh, Sashi. What do you have for me really quickly? Good day. Sashi is saddened by the devastation here. The founder statue they got destroyed. Did you know it was created back in the first era? Why would anyone destroy such an ancient artifact? Maybe the answer is in the tunnels below. The villagers found them while clearing out the rubble. Those galleries were likely built by the Eyelades themselves. We have to go down there. I'll go first and make sure it's safe. Well, alrighty. And we have embarked upon a new quest that is probably going to get us into some pretty interesting situations. But uh, that is going to be for next time. Because with that said and with that done, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Hey, here you guys a whole time for watching. Huh, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.